Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 2090, K radius subarray averages. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement in the logic on the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given an array nums and a radius k, right? And if I consider an element in the input array, for example, if I consider 9, right? And I need to check whether we have k elements on the right side of 9 and k elements before 9, right? So when this scenario is valid, we need to take average of all the elements within this window, right? So if I sum all the values, I will get 37 and I need to divide by 7. There are 7 elements, right? So I will get 5.28. So I will take the integer division. So I will be getting 5. So I will assign this 5 to the index where I consider it as center. So we consider 9 as the center and we took 3 elements on the right side and 3 elements on the left side. So in the third index, I will assign 5. Whereas if I consider 4 as my center, here 3 elements on the right side is valid, but 3 elements on the left side is not possible. We have only one element. So in this scenario, I will assign to the index 1 as negative 1 since we consider 1 as my center in this case. So we need to do the same thing for each and every element in this case, right? So now we will see how we are going to do this. So first I'm going to create a list of negative ones for the given input length, right? So in this case we have 9 elements, so we have 9 negative ones. So then we are going to calculate the total number of elements required to take average for the given k. So if I multiply 2 with the given k, 3, I will get 6, plus 1, I'm going to get 7. So for the given k, I need 7 elements to take average, right? Then I will initialize left and right pointers pointing to the 0th index. Then I will initialize the window sum as 0. So in this variable where we are going to calculate the sum of the elements, right? So first we need to check whether we have 7 elements or not. So in this case, we don't have 7 elements in the window. So we are going to add 7 to the window sum. So 0 plus 7 becomes 7. Then I will increase my right pointer. So again, we don't have 7 elements in this window. So we add 4 to the window sum. So it becomes 11. Again, we need to increase our right pointer. Again, we don't have 7 elements in this window. So we need to add 3 to the window sum. So it becomes 14. So again, I will increase my right pointer. Again, we don't have 7 elements. So we will add 9 to the window sum. So it becomes 23. Again, we will increase our right pointer. We don't have 7 elements in this window. So we add 1 to the window sum. It becomes 24 then again I will move my right pointer I will add 8 to the window sum since we don't have 7 elements in this window so it becomes 32 now again I will move my right pointer and I will add 5 to the window sum it becomes 37 so now we have 7 elements in this window so now I need to perform the integer division by diameter we calculated that is 7 so if I do integer division by 7, I will be getting 5, right? So now we need to assign this 5 to the center index in this window. So to get the center, I will add left and k. So left and k will give me the center of this window. So here left is 0 and k is 3. So in the third index in the result list, I will change this negative 1 to 5. Then before expanding the window, I need to subtract 7, that is the left index value from the window sum, right? So now window sum becomes 30, 37 minus 7, we are going to get 30. Then I will move my left pointer by 1, right? Now left pointer will point to the index 1. Then I will move my right pointer. So we are pointing at the index 7 so we add 2 to the window sum so window sum becomes 32 again we have 7 elements in this window so we do integer division by 7 we are going to get 4 
then we need to calculate the center so left plus k so in this case left index pointing to first index plus k that is 3 right so we are going to get 4 so in the index 4 in the result list we need to assign this 4 right then before moving the left pointer we need to subtract the value 4 from the window sum so window sum becomes 28 then we move our left pointer then again we have to move our right pointer by one so now we need to add six so now window sum becomes 34 again we have seven elements in this window so now we need to calculate the center index so we need to take the integer division by seven so we are going to get four so now we need to calculate the center index so left plus k so in this case left index is two plus k that is three right so we are going to get 5. So in the fifth index in the result list, we have to assign this 4. Right? Only if we have a valid window, we have to move our left pointer. Right? So again, we have to subtract this element that is 3 right from the window sum. So we are going to get 31. And we have to move our left pointer by 1. And if I try to move the right pointer, it is invalid right there is no elements to check further so when we reach the end we have to just return the result list right so rest of the index will be negative one so the reason why they are negative one in these indices is that we cannot form seven elements by keeping these indices as center right that's all the logic is now we will see the code so before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Now to jump out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially we are creating the list of negative ones for the given length in the nums list. Then we are initializing left and window sum as zero at the start. Then we are calculating the diameter here. Then we will be writing the for loop, which will be our right pointer. And we are going to add all the elements in the right pointer to the window sum. Then I will check whether we have a required number of elements to calculate the average using the diameter calculator if this is true we need to calculate the average using the window sum by taking the integer division using diameter and we need to assign that average to the center index right so to calculate the center index so left plus k will be giving the center index so we have to assign that 5 to the index in the result list right so after assigning the average to the in center index we have to subtract left index element from the window sum then we have to move our left pointer by one then finally we have to return the result list right that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient so the time complexity will be order of n and space will be order of n as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.